Did you hear about the new city Saudi Arabia is building? This thing is wild. 170 kilometers long, taller than the Empire State Building the whole way along, and home to 9 million people. It's called The Line, and it's going to be the world's first three-dimensional city, which means you can get anywhere in just 20 minutes without needing a car. These clips are all from the promo video they released two months ago, which is absolutely worth watching, if just for the golden comments like this one. You're not wrong, John. You are not wrong. Now, let's set aside for a second how dystopian this is and questions like whether it's all a publicity stunt that won't actually get built. Personally, I don't know that I'd want to live in the line, but I find it super interesting because it shines a light on the fact that we don't really do new cities anymore, right? I mean, how different would cities look today if we could design them from scratch using all the knowledge that we have today instead of building on top of a layout that's been there for centuries? And what does all that have to do with remote work? Well, these are the questions that we're looking at in this week's episode of Out of Office, the web series where every week we dive into interesting topics around the future of work and then zoom out and look at the big picture. I'm your host, Andrew Allen. And now, let's take a look at a very different architect's vision. This one is also in a city built on desert land, but not Saudi Arabia. This is the Rapper Building in Los Angeles, California. It's a 16-story office building, which is due to be completed later this year, and people are calling it a rebuttal to remote work, because Let's face it, who is still building office buildings in 2022? But the real kicker is, less than two months out from opening, guess how many tenants they have lined up to occupy this 180,000 square foot building? Zero. Zip. Not a one. <laughs> and I really gotta say for a rebuttal to remote work, that is the most poetic own goal I've heard in a long time. <laughs> so. We've talked about a futuristic new city that claims to solve everyone's transportation woes and an old-fashioned new office building that nobody wants. What can we learn from all of this about the future of workplaces and how cities may evolve in the future? Well, someone who's trying to answer that question is Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky. He's actually, he's one of the few tech CEOs who started out as a designer, so he has some pretty interesting views on this, a few of which he shared with Time Magazine earlier in the year. He says the future of workplaces is a true hybrid model, but specifically not the three days in the office kind of hybrid, which he says isn't sustainable. The workplaces of the future will be fully flexible about location, instead becoming more intentional about when people gather just for a week or two at a time. Now, there are risks here. He has a great quote that says, technology is like gravity. It wants to find the fastest point between point A and point B. If we're not careful, in the name of efficiency, we will try to remove all human connection. And this is where being intentional comes in. This kind of progress doesn't have to lead to a bleak, connectionless future. It's entirely possible to design meaningful ways for people to come together and experience the community and human connection that we all need. This change is a work in progress, and we don't know exactly what it will look like yet. There are challenges to iron out and solutions that haven't even been invented. One of them actually that I've heard Brian talk about in other articles is the idea of neighborhood working spaces. Now this is not like the privatized subscription model that you've heard of before a la WeWork, but more of a pay per use model like Airbnb for work. So just because almost everyone is gonna work remotely in the future doesn't mean that everyone's house has to have a home office in it. And it doesn't mean that you can't have a water cooler chat in person with someone you see every day who knows your kid's name. Someday, these professional spaces are gonna pop up in every neighborhood. So remote workers have a place to socialize, get work done in peace, and get out of the house without needing to commute. And when you think about it, this means people would get to know their neighbors despite working for different companies, as opposed to getting to know their coworkers despite living in different neighborhoods. It's not bleak, it's not connectionless, it just requires a change in perspective. It's kind of like the one that's springing up in Saudi Arabia right now, but maybe just a little bit. <laughs> I'm Andrew Allen, and the future of work is out of office.